Hey guys, we got another video today. We're going to be checking out Cursor. So this is another AI tool that's supposed to help you uh, build software fast. It uses OpenAI. Um, it looks like they're in partnership with OpenAI. So um, you can download this straight from their website here. They also have a few different platforms. And then I also have their GitHub page open. So it tells us a little bit more about what this is. It's an editor made for programming with AI. It's still in its early days, but you can um, generate 10 to 100 lines of code with an AI that's smarter than Copilot. Um, you can ask the AI to edit code. Um, you can talk to it in a chat style, and then you can also ask it to fix um, errors and generate test comments. Um, and then you can also work on development down here. It shows you how to get started. So I already have this downloaded. Um, also, you'll want to make an account. Um, I think the first few days you didn't need an account, but it looks like now you do need an account to use this um, so they can combat spam and all that. So um, I have it opened right here already. This is their sample folder that comes with it when you download it. And there's a couple files in here. This is the Python one. There's also a JavaScript one that comes with it. Um, so in here, it just kind of um, goes over some steps on how you can get started. So it gives you some example prompts you can give the um, AI. So right here it just says try generating with command K. So right here if I type command K, I can input some instructions. And I'm already logged in here as well. So make sure once you have this downloaded, you log in. But I'm going to see if we can get a simple web page going. So I'm going to say create a simple or a single, create a single page website that displays the current time and day for the user. Okay, so here we go. We see here we get um, some code written. So we'll try this out in a second here. So I'm just going to make a new file in here. Um, index HTML. And then we'll paste our code from the AI right in here. And then now we'll try to open this. Let's say open containing folder. We'll double click. Okay, then we can see current time and day. The current time is 639. I'm in California, so that's right. And then today is 330, which is also right, March 30th. So that's pretty cool. Um, it's pretty simple, but you can get it to do more things. So we'll add some more stuff here. We'll say, um, Oops, wrong hotkey. So it's um, command K. And then we'll say add, um, add the day of the week. And also add, I'm going to say add a few buttons to check the time in different cities across the world okay so i'm going to say add the day of the week and also add a few buttons to check the time in different cities across the world so this is a, a little bit more complex of a question let's see if it can figure it out okay there we go i don't know i kind of scrolled there i don't know if i messed it up let's see um because it stopped going there let me try this one more time. I'm going to say, um, didn't finish the code. Please finish. Okay, there we go. So I just had to say finish the code and it finished it for me. So let's try this. If we delete um, everything above here, I think we should be good. So we'll delete all that. We'll hit save. We'll reload the page. Okay, so current time is 642. That's still correct. If we click these, okay, New York doesn't work, I guess. It's London works. If we click that, let's see if Tokyo works. Okay, and I'm, I'm assuming these are the right times in those places. Um, okay, so let's tell it that New York, the button isn't working. So let's say command, oh, Command K, and we'll say the button for New York is not working. D 
the buttons for the the we'll just say the other ones are working fine okay so I think let's see it just gave us the same code again um, we'll say gave me the same code as before but it is not displaying the time when I click the button. Okay, let's see if you can figure this out. Okay, so we can see here, maybe it's falling a little bit short. Um, I'm trying to tell it what's wrong with the code and it's not figuring it out. Maybe we have to be a little bit more direct. So let's say reload the page, hit New York. I'm gonna see if inspect is saying anything. we feed this error it will um, fix it for us so we'll copy this error we'll come over to cursor command K and we'll say when I run the code this error pops up in the console please fix the code and then I'll um, paste that right in here okay so it keeps just giving me the same um, thing. Oh, I see right here. Okay, so oops by me. It was trying to tell me what was wrong. Um, so we'll paste this right in here where it says the current time in New York is. We'll save that. Um, we can delete this extra P right here. Oh, wait, no. Uh, delete this extra HTML right here. Sorry. Okay, so now let's reload this page one more time. So we're trying New York now. There we go, London and Tokyo. So there you go. Um, that's how you can work with cursor. Um, so it, I think it just pretty much outputs text. It doesn't really output as much, um, or it just out, it just puts out code, sorry, not as much text. I know with ChatGPT, you get a lot of um, text describing what it's doing. With this one, it looks like it, it kind of just gives you the code. Um, that's why I was having a little trouble figuring out what it wanted me to do when it printed this out. But obviously, I was just uh, going through it a little too quick, so I overlooked that this was missing the ID here. So anyway, um, check this out. You can set it up with uh, OpenAI API key if you want. I do believe this is limited, but I haven't really found any information on what the limits are yet. So um, I'll leave all the links in the description. Check it out, and uh, let me know what you think.